never would I have thought I would actually say or actually even want to watch a CW show. Let's just start there. I'm not a fan of CW. Too cheesy. The aesthetic, the tone, the kind of people that they choose. That's just the kind of feeling they get from the CW shows. Not my thing. Not my thing. So I've, I've stayed away. Flash was cool and so forth. But there's just a certain vibe it has that I'm like, nah. It's just there's a very cheesy vibe. It's very just a cheesy vibe that, that, that you have with CW. I'm like, nah, nah. I'm, I'm good. This is it ain't perfect. This isn't perfect. But compared to the piece of trash that is Man of Steel and um, BVS, Justice League, this is much better. Again, it is cheesy. The fight scene with the Luther guy wasn't great. Was ex was, <laughs> And maybe it's because it's TV and so forth, but that fight scene looked very ropey indeed. And there's just some very cringy, awkward moments. But... It's an interesting take on the story. See, whenever you want to do a story that the people know so well and has been told so many times, you have to okay, okay, what is the new angle here? We've seen Smallville. We've seen him go along through with Smallville. We've seen the whole thing with his Kent, Mark Kent, Pa Kent. We've seen all that stuff. So why are you going back? You know, a freaking Smallville was a freaking 10 seasons. But, because see, this is why I just said, I was like, oh, okay, this is interesting. Because, I, because look, shout out to your boy Joseph, Joseph Nainaji, my, my Nigerian guy. He said, look, go and watch this. I was like, I've been putting it off because I'm like, I'm not watching a CW show. <laughs> there is no way I am enjoying a CW show. And again, there's issues I had with CW were still in this show. They were still in this show because I don't do cheesy. Unless... You do cheesy well, which is Captain America, First Avenger, or Superman 1, where it's that's cheesy done well. But normal cheesy, I don't do. But the thing about this is, first of all, let's just start with the, I think it's Tyler Hodgson, or Hitchin. He's, he's not a bad actor. And here's my thing is, I think we first saw him in The Flash, and he looked really bad. Oh, the costume is hor horrible costume. Hor horrible absolutely horrible and i think the first time i saw him was in um because I, I was watching jody's corner was the the flash where he appeared i think i think he appeared in the flash where he just looked horrible nothing does acting he just looked horrible so once i saw him then i was like bro you judge people by first impressions okay i'm out this this, this is crap this is stupid this can be taken seriously i'm 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 out of it so i was like so for joseph when he says oh watch superman and lewis watch it i was like no <laughs> It's crap. Like, there's no point in me watching it. But he's a good actor. He's not great. He's not amazing. He's good. But what just struck me just by the very first few scenes was he's better than Cavill. <laughs> you see, so many people just pump up Cavill because he just looks, he just has like the kind of look. That Superman has. But I'm like, I don't care about it. Can he act? Can he act? Henry Cavill is a very average actor. Very average. You know, the, because I've seen him in Man from Uncle. I've seen him in the Mission Impossible thing. I've seen him in that thing that he did with, um, is it Tassim Singh? The, the um, gosh, I've got the, like, the kind of like Roman, like Greek myth kind of thing that he did with Mickey, Mickey Rock. He's an average actor. Tell a fortune, dude. He yeah. I just again, he's not amazing. He's not super, okay. Okay, when, when, okay, when, when we're not dealing with um a Wack and Phoenix um kind of situation, we're not dealing with a Wack and Phoenix, Gary Oldman, Nate Parker kind of thing, but he's pretty good. He's better than um Henry Cavill. Like there is a little bit more depth, there's a bit more soul. There is a there is a bit more connectivity that you're getting with him. Whereas that for Carvel, it's like he just plays it straight. Like a freaking cardboard cutout. It's like there is zero depth from Carvel. Zero depth. But with this with his clack, like, okay, this is this is this is a person. 
this is someone I can actually see, okay, there are different kinds of emotions and thoughts going through his head. So I think the angle for this, I'm not sure whether I like it, but it's at least interesting. Okay, I don't know whether I like it, but it's interesting, which is that, okay, his kid, spoiler, his kid basically has powers. So the new angle, which I don't think we've really seen before, either on film or TV, is Superman now having a family, being a family guy, and having a son who has these, these powers. So 100%. One part of the story will be Superman dealing with whatever enemies are around and so forth. Another part of the story is obviously with this kid and the girlfriend that he has and how he now has to deal with his powers and, and so forth. I always want the powers to be Superman. Like, I, do, I don't care about the Superman song. Like, I don't I don't give a damn. Same thing as how I say Batman should always be by himself. I don't want Robin. Robin is, Robin is trash. Robin is flipping garbage trash. I don't want Robin anywhere near ba ba Batman. Batman is a solo, solo dude. Um, so when you look at um, Superman, I'm like, Superman's son? You see, here's the thing. A, bat, a Batman son... Um, Batman's helper, Robin, I think, is horrible because Batman has to be solo. I'd like Superman solo, but he doesn't have to be. The, when you just look at the nature of what Superman is, the nature of Clark Kent, just what he aspires to be and how he was brought up, this story makes sense. That's It's a family. He's a family man and has to like, deal with the dimensions of the family and he wants to be a good father. This makes sense for Clark Kent. That's, that doesn't make sense for Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne is not a family man. Bruce Wayne is not a people's person. So yeah, I'm Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne is a, is a solo introvert dude who rolls, who rolls alone in his cave, man. But for a Clark Kent, maybe this works. So, I'll keep it real with you. There were some cheesy bits. The fight with, I think, Luther was, wasn't good. The costume is, is horrible. I say horrible. The bro, chain the costume. The costume is horrible. He's got like a... Special suits or something. Cringy moments, yeah. I didn't hate that episode. <laughs> I didn't hate that episode. And I was watching it, I was like, okay, I'm actually into this. It's like, this is it's not bad. This isn't bad. And look, Superman has suffered so much. He's been dragged through the freaking mud. I mean, right? <laughs> right now, they are so confused with what they want to do with Superman is that they're now about to release... They're about to make him black. You, you've sold... They're about to say, you know what? Screw it. Let's just make him black. You know, so it's... it's because and I think the thing with Superman is... Superman isn't easy. Superman isn't, isn't easy because you just need... Because people will say, oh no, Batman is much easier to do than Superman. Because Batman is... He's dark... He's moody. It's very easy to sell dark and moody. Positive, <clears throat> positive hopeful Boy Scout. You, that's It seems easy, but in, in today's cynical world, not so much. Hence why you have to give so much um, um, credit to the writers of Cups America First Avenge, I think McFeely and the dude, and of course Joe Johnston, where they just got the right beat onto a Captain America because let's give it Captain America is Marvel Superman. That's Marvel Superman. And for me, Cap bro, my ringtone is the Captain America theme song. That's my ringtone. <laughs> it's the theme song for Captain America. So um if you do hopeful well it can work and it works supremely well for Captain America. DC have just screwed it have screwed it up because they gave it to a to a freaking clown known as Zack Snyder. Because you see, you can do things with characters and so forth, but there's a certain core. There's a certain core to a character that you have to keep. You keep that core, then try and experiment around that core. The core of Superman and Clark Kent is that he's a hopeful guy. He's a positive guy. He's not an edgy guy who shouts and he's that's just what he is. So I'm just wondering, this is an interesting story. Okay. Make him a family guy. And I deal with now family dom domestic issues like okay through into the fact that you're not superman you're not superman you now have to do superman things 
All right. So, because look, I'll keep it, a, guys, I'll keep it a stack. I'm going to talk about Wonder Vision in a separate vid. I've dropped Wonder Vision. I've dropped that. You know, because for me, Wonder Vision is like, okay, look, you guys, you're, you're not serious. You're really not serious. I mean, like, I'm cool for Josie, not serious. This, as because for me, this pilot episode is better than all the episodes of Wonder Vision. Every one of them. You know, Wonder Vision just has better production and so forth. But as far as just writing, acting, storytelling, just like a script and just like a story, this pilot is better than the whole of freaking Wonder Vision. Okay, but it's stack, man. So yeah, don't look, man. Joseph, man. Not bad. Not, not great. Not great, but I'll check out the next step. I'll check out the next step. It's all right. It's all right. Like, subscribe that bad boy.